back. Dighton Rehoboth golf coach Bill Cute has been coaching golf for an incredible 40 years at the school, and he isn't slowing down anytime soon. An unmatched connection with his players. Cute has been a staple on the greens and to the future of his players. Mark Dondero has his story as this week's hometown hero. All right, good strokes now and hold your finish. Hold your finish. Uh, so far this year, we're 9-0. and We already qualified for the state tournament. Normally, a team's resume that looks and sounds like that is reserved for another coach named Bill in the area. But Bill Cute in Dighton Rehoboth has had a similar impact. I set very high standards of my players for what do they do as school citizens? Uh, are they getting the job done in the classroom? Out of all sports I've played, he's probably the best coach I've had. I have high standards for what I expect them to look like on the golf course and how I expect them to act. I would describe him as probably one of the nicest, most caring people I've ever met. He's done so much for all of us, not just on the course, just off the course. So Bill Q might be the nicest guy in the DR area, but despite that and golf being a gentleman's game, just like any other coach, he can get fiery at times. Sometimes if we, uh, if the team doesn't have that great of a showing on a certain day, we'll have a, it won't be pleasant after. He can get in your face when you don't do something right, but uh, when he gets in your face, you don't really need to take it personally. You just got to apply that into your uh, game and Pretty much uh, let it help you out. So now he has 35 years of teaching experience, 40 years as the golf coach, and one new hat. This means a lot to me, Mark. It really does. Uh, at the beginning of the season, uh, my kids had mentioned that they really would like to chip in and buy themselves some hats, and I said that's a great idea. And what I didn't realize is is that they were going to purchase one for me. Well. We just wanted to do something special for him because it was his 40th season coaching. It's a milestone. You don't really hear many people coaching for that long. So we wanted to get something that the whole team could wear. One thing I'm really hoping for, really hoping for, is 10 years from now, God willing, that another group of kids will present me with a hat that says WJC 50. And I think that would really be something. Mark Dundaro, Eyewitness Sports. Thank you, Mark. If there's someone you'd like to nominate to be our hometown hero, please send us all the information in an email to sports at WPRI.com. It doesn't matter the age or sport he or she plays. We're always looking for inspirational local athletes to profile in our area. The Hometown Hero runs every Monday night on the Sports Wrap here on Fox Province.